I bought some bling and a Flavo Flav <laughs> clock. Sharon Ka is in her 70s, and she's only 4 feet 10 inches tall, but she enjoys performing a musical genre that might surprise you. Yo, homie, listen up. All the parkies in the room, put your hands up. Ka is a part-time rapper on a mission with thousands of views on YouTube. What? Say what? You say kick Parkinson's butt. Say what? Say what? Kick Parkinson's butt. Her passionate message is about Parkinson's disease. My brain used the rhythm of rap to build detours around the failed pathways of Parkinson's. Ka was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease more than a decade ago when she was a busy professional at the University of Arizona. After working as a local radio and television reporter, she had moved on to the university. I was the director of the News Bureau really for all the 22 years I was there, but every once in a while I would get another assignment like associate vice president for institutional advancement for the University of Arizona. I needed a car that big. But her career came to a screeching halt when Parkinson's began to show its symptoms. She had to retire and step away from a familiar world. She says the disease causes the neurons in the brain to die off at a rapid rate compared to people without Parkinson's. Those neurons control movement, mood, and emotions. Everybody loses neurons. That's why Parkinson's looks so much like old age. It is old age speeded up. We have no idea what causes it. If we did, maybe we could fix it, but we don't. From the day you're told you have it, from that day forward, you can count on it getting worse and worse and worse. Ka is fighting the disease with different treatments that are showing promise. She's pounding the pavement and conquering new grounds on a daily basis by focusing on social engagement and physical activity. Exercising intensely is the one thing that shows a glimmer of hope in Parkinson's disease. That walk in the morning is as valuable to me as my medication. And it's not just walking, it's walking intensely, focusing on what I'm doing, not trying to carry on a conversation with somebody. After the initial shock and depression from her newfound circumstances, which included planning her own funeral, Ka shifted her focus from defeat to determination. I still was alive and kicking, and that's when I decided that I had to change my approach from getting ready for death to insisting on life. That's it. She's also a member of a gym for people who are living with Parkinson's. It's big steps. There you go. She enjoys this time with her newfound friends and knowledgeable trainers who push their limits. Nice, man. Good, Michael. Michael Greenbaum was diagnosed there with go, Parkinson's Sharon. in 2012. If you sort of imagine the Hulk, collapsed lung structure, folded shoulders, very stiff and rigid walk, that's very common in Parkinson's, or rigid, or tremors. And I had all of those things. Now, I think you can see that in two years' time working here at the gym. Nice, Michael, that's it. That is it right there, sir. I stand straighter and taller. I can bend my torso, and I have strength and can almost go back to what I was as a soldier and knock out push-ups. I believe you must not sacrifice your personality to the disease. And I believe that exercise can change your brain. And I don't need a business card to tell me who I am. I know who I am. I'm the El Dopa Diva. But For Sharon Ka, the, the rapping, the exercise, and the medicine are all part of her arsenal in the battle against Parkinson's. Rapping keeps her on her toes while requiring that she project her voice. This is vital for people with Parkinson's. Parkinson's disease is really whack, but you be illin' if you don't fight back. When I say Parkinson's, you say don't give in. Parkinson's! Don't give in! Parkinson's! Don't give in! During this event at St. Andrew's Presbyterian Church in Tucson, Ka is accompanied by another person who has Parkinson's. 
Jenny Richardson finds comfort in art to deal with some of her challenges. I just think that people ought to know more about Parkinson's and know that it's getting more common. And I'd love to know why I have it. There is life after Parkinson's. Life after Parkinson's. This is a message that is dear to Ka's heart and not only because of her present condition. It is the second time her immediate family has been affected. In the 10 years that he lived after diagnosis, he went from a cane to a walker to a wheelchair. At the end, he was isolated. He couldn't go places, he couldn't make himself understood, he had no friends at all, and I felt so bad for my father, and I still do. And one day, I looked into One day I looked into the mirror and I could see my dad's face after he had Parkinson's. She resolved it would be different for her and she's assisting others along the way. Even if you're not impacted personally, she says there may be something you can do. You need to help people be who they're able to be and that requires supporting them while they do things that are really hard and you keep helping them and encouraging them so that they can maintain the ability to move and to speak and to have a life and have that life before death. Thank you so much and we really appreciate you doing what you're doing. Ain't no thing. I'm down with that word. Thank you.